Hi all, another quiz, this time it's on ventilation, we're not messing around, so let's get on with it. Here's question number one. This open fluid floor standing boiler of 10 kilowatt net is installed in a room. So, what ventilation requirements are needed for this boiler? Is it one? 25 centimeter squared is it 2 15 centimeter squared or is it 3 30 centimeter squared the answer is 2 15 centimeter squared so 10 minus 7 equals 3 times 5 equals 15 centimeter squared it's as easy as that. Question number two. So we have a flueless space heater of 2.5 kilowatt net installed in a room of 45 watts per meters cubed. So what size ventilation would this appliance require? And are there any unsafe situations that you can see in the picture? So, does this flueless space heater require 50 centimetres squared of free air? Does it require 100 centimetres squared of free air? Or does it require 200 centimetres squared of free air? So, the answer is number two, 100 centimetres squared. Because this flueless space heater is less than 2.6 kilowatts net. So in that situation, it requires a standard of 100 centimetres squared. And did you notice the unsafe situations in the picture? Well, the vents are not more than a metre away from the appliance. So that would make it at risk, according to iGEM G11, the unsafe situations procedure. Let's try question number three. So what we have here is a 10 kilowatt net DFE open fluid fire installed in a living room. So what size ventilation would be required for this appliance? Is it one 50 centimeter squared of free air? Is it two 100 centimeter squared of free air? Or is it three? No vent is required. And the answer is number two, a hundred centimeters squared of free air. And that would be for a DFE fire up to 20 kilowatts net. Question number four. So we have this condensing boiler room sealed of 24 kilowatts net installed in a bedroom. So what ventilation would be required when this boiler is installed in a bedroom? Is it one, not allowed in a bedroom? Is it number two, a hundred centimeters squared of free air? Or is it number three, no vent is required? And the answer is number three, no vent is required because the boiler is room sealed and it is allowed in a bedroom. Question number five. So this 10 kilowatt net cooker is stored in a kitchen of nine meters cubed. It has an openable window. So what ventilation, if any, is required? Is it number one, no vent is required? Is it number two, 50 centimeters squared of free air? Or is it number three, 100 centimeters squared of free air? And the answer is number two, 50 centimeters squared of free air. Question number six. Again, we have 
a flueless space heater of 6.4 kilowatts net installed in an internal space of 90 watts per meters cubed. So what ventilation is required for this appliance, if any? Is it 1, 127.5 centimeters squared? Is it 2, 100 centimeters squared? Or is it 3, 155 centimeters squared? And the answer is number one, 127.5 centimeters squared. Question number seven. So this 6.9 kilowatt net open fluid radiant space heater is installed in a room of 30 meters cubed. So what ventilation does it require and are there any unsafe situations you can see in the picture? Now does this radiant fire require number one, 35 centimetres squared? Number two, 50 centimetres squared? Or number three, is there no vent required in this installation? And the answer is, number three, no vent is required because this radiant space heater is under seven kilowatts net. So anything under seven kilowatts, adventitious air covers the ventilation. And did you notice the unsafe situation? Well, there's a cooker hose and a fluid appliance. So that would be classed as at risk in iGEM G11, the unsafe situations procedure. Now let's have a go at question number eight. Here we have a 10 kilowatt net flueless water heater installed in a room of 15 meters cubed. So what vent is required for this water heater? Is it one, the appliance is not permitted in a room of 15 meters cubed? Is it two? A hundred centimeters squared of free air, or is it number three, 50 centimeters squared of free air? And the answer is number three, 50 centimeters squared of free air. Let's try question number nine. Here in a kitchen, we have a 12 kilowatt gross cooker and a 14 kilowatt gross open fluid boiler installed in this kitchen of nine meters cubed. What ventilation, if any, is required? Is it number one, 78 centimeters squared of free air? Is it number two, 28 centimeters squared of free air? Or is it finally number three, 50 centimeters squared of free air? And the answer is number three, 50 centimeters squared of free air. And if you want to know how that is worked out, the cooker requires 50 centimeters squared of free air because it's in nine meters cubed. The boiler is 14 divided by 1.11 because we're turning gross to net is 12.6 minus the 7 which is 5.6 times the 5 is 28 centimeters squared of free air and you take the largest one and the largest one being 50 so it's 50 centimeters squared of free air and the final question number 10 for this quiz on ventilation here we have a 24 kilowatt gross open flue boiler installed in a compartment which gets its air for combustion via another room. So, what ventilation is required at A, B and C? Is it number one? A is 73.1, B 216 and C 432? Or is it two? 
A 73.1, B 432 and C 216? Or is it 3, A is 85, B 216 and C 432? Well, hopefully you got it. The answer is number one, A, 73.1 centimetre squared, B, 216 centimetre squared, and C, 432 centimetre squared. So, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers. <laughs>